Well, a chieftain of the Men Opposition People's Democratic Party, Tele Conrad Utan, has uh, expressed interest in the office of the party's national chairmanship. Utan had sued Dr. Yocha Ayu at a Makodi High Court and got an interim injunction which restrained him from parading himself as a PDP national chairman after his Igorov what executive suspended him. Now, the suit eventually led to the suspension and removal of the former PDP uh, national chairman, Yoche Ayu, from office. Well, Utan, who is from Guma local government area, is the second Benue indigent to have indicated interest in replacing Dr. Ayu as PDP national chairman. The first is former governor and senator Gabriel Torwa Suswam. Well, let's speak with the PDP chairmanship hopeful now, Tele Conrad Utan. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me, Sumna. Yeah, so the PDP has been uh, bedeviled by lots of issues here and there, and here you are wanting to actually uh, take over from the job of the former Benue man who was there, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Yocha, are you? Who you took to court. <laughs> uh, so what gives you the confidence that... Uh, you will be given an opportunity by delegates across the country to maybe continue his time or finish it, actually. Yeah, you th uh, first of all, thank you for, for having me. Uh, I think um, I represent uh, an angle of the party that the PDP should actually be proud of. You know, the circumstances that led to the removal of Dr. Yochayu as the national chairman was an intervention. Uh, Yochayu was uh, suspended uh, by his council ward, and of course, there was this back and forth between the ward and and uh, the National Hockey Committee of the party led by Yochayu as to the validity of the suspension and whether he could still continue to remain as chairman. You know, everybody stood back. You know, we needed somebody with courage to step forward to bring that intervention of which I, I, I sacrificed, you know, my personal comfort and of course my peace, you know, to uh, uh, ask for an interpretation from the Makudi High Court as to where we really stand or what the constitution says about, about the party. That led to the removal of Dr. Yochayu. I think um, what the party requires now is new thinking, uh, new energy. Uh, parties are not just uh, platforms, should not naturally be platforms for just conducting political party primaries and, and conducting elections. Parties should be built to craft a thinking, you know, to, to craft uh, a, a agenda for government, whether in and out of power. You know, but uh, this situation we have in this country where former governors or former political leaders have been recycled, you know, to lead parties, either PDP or APC or whatever, whatever party, has really not uh, augured uh, well for our uh, political system. Are you talking system. of your co-contestant, uh, Gabriel Suswam, who's now a senator? Uh, not, uh, not, not particularly. You mm -hmm. know, it, it, our, the major political divides in this country has, uh, built, have built a tendency of recycling, you know, political office holders, former governors, former senators, former this. It has not all got well. Elections, uh, the parties are not just built to conduct primaries and hold elections. Parties should actually be built around policies so that government, whether, sorry, parties either in or out of government, will be able to craft policies that will generate, you know, the proper development and bring prosperity to the Nigerian people. All right, so what will you say to critics who may say that uh, you're actually coming up uh, to seek this position because you're trying to seek for a sort of compensation for <laughs> your decision <laughs> to actually take uh, your child you to court <laughs> and for him to be removed? Yeah, that, 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 that uh, would be... Would that be right? That would be, that would be ludicrous. Uh, it's, uh, it's, um, I, just like I, I said in my open statement, I think I, I, am, um, I represent uh, a part of the party that the party should be proud of. You know, what I did was not self-seeking. I did not do it for, my, for myself. I did not do it to gain any particular, you know, personal benefits from it. I did it to save the party. And this party has enjoyed some relative peace, you know, to the extent that we can be thinking about conducting some mini convention to elect a new, new chairman because of the effort that I made, you know, in trying to bring that, that stability. So what I did was an, an intervention. You know, uh, so, so, you're so, not so to speak. The compensation? No, no, I, I, actually. <laughs> I, right. I, 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 it is my intention. Mm -hmm. It is my intention, you know, to put.
provide leadership that brings about unity. Look, the party is so, so divided. You know, there's G5 on one end, there's a Tiku factor on one end, there's the governors on one end, there's the National Assembly on another. We need somebody who is isolated from all this bias, all these divides, to bring the party together. We have two, three years to begin to prepare for the next set of elections. We need an, a, a, a leader, a, a new party leader who has the energy, who has the thinking, a new thinking, a transformational leader who can bring these people together, reunite the party and focus for the challenge that lies ahead. Well, PDP is known as a party that uh, uh, is fully known to be very supportive of godfathers and all of that and how they control the party, you know, from the dark side of uh, things. And so I'll be asking, who's your godfather? I mean, that's putting you forward because, I mean, I know PDP. If, you do, if you're not related or known to someone, or a particular political family, it becomes very difficult for you to get any big position there. I am sure um, you must have followed the news of how we, the intervention that uh, removed your chair, you, if I had a godfather, that would, you would have known that uh, before now. I think that whole idea of godfather, godfatherism is what has, you know, polluted the political space in Nigeria, not only for, you know, no, for PDP. We need to bring some new thinking, some new energy, all some all transformation right. within the political space. I'll just ask you to space. hold on, let's go on a very short break, and when we come back, we'll continue on, okay. on that note. You're still watching Arise Prime Time. Let's go on this very short break and when we come back we'll continue the conversation stay with us Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Arise Prime Time. And of course, I'm Sumner Sambo, and I've still got my guest right here in the studio, Tehile Conrad Utan, who is a PDP national chairmanship aspirant. And of course, he's been speaking with us on what he hopes to do for the former governing party. Uh, so let's talk about how you intend to make the PDP uh, different uh, from the APC and Labour Party. How do you return the PDP to its winning ways? It's um, about time younger people are allowed to take over party leadership in Nigeria. Um, look, look around the world. Uh, you, you know, uh, David Cameron led the Conservative Party in his 30s. You know, um, Rishi Sunak is 43. Emmanuel Macron was elected at 39. He led his party to victory. You know, the current leader of the Scottish National Party, Humda Yusuf, uh, is, is 39. You know, I'm 47. It, 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 it's really, we've gotten to the, that point in this country where we should begin to look downwards, you know, to the base of the party, you know, that occupies the majority, you know, of the membership to be able to drive the party, you know, in a way that those divides uh, that, you know, ego has, has created amongst the leaders of the party will be bridged in a way that the party will be moved, uh, you know, to a certain, you know, pedestal. Look, party leadership it should transform to government and government should be about the welfare of the ordinary people on the street, not right. some, some, some ego tripping amongst the, the, the leadership of, of the party. That is why I, I bring to the table new energy, new think, uh, thinking, some form of transformation to the party to the extent that, look, PDP uh, has led the, the vanguard of, of the rebirth of politics in this country. We right. naturally expect that the other parties should follow what, you know, the pace that the PDP, you know, will set. You know, this may just be an opportunity for my party, the People's Democratic Party, to set a new agenda for this country. Well, uh, as we try to round up the conversation, and just before I let you go, how will you unite the different factions in the party? I know the North Central uh, may likely continue uh, with this position as national chairman, but of course, you know, the wiki factor, which still remains a big factor, the Atiku factor, and all of that. How do you intend to unite the different political divides in the PDP? The first quality is not belonging to any of the divides in the first place. You know, who puts you in a poor position? I, I neither belong to the G5 or, or, to, or to the article well, faction or to the current more. one, you know. <laughs> it, it's a, it, it's a, that, that, that is actually my, my selling point, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for, for leadership, leadership of this party. You know, it goes without saying that uh, irrespective of the argument going on in the party as to whether the acting chairman should continue or not, it has become, you know, I, I, 
almost like a convention, you know, for party uh, to the party to allow the zone where a party officer is removed to replace, you know, that particular officer. Uh, that is why I count myself as the only one in the race because you, you think you, so? You, yeah, you yeah, think you because, can defeat a Susuam, who's no, a no, serving no, senator, he, and then of course uh, during his uh, meeting with some of the leaders in uh, Benue PDP, I saw. Heavyweights coalition uh, right there, but I haven't seen some of them with you. How do you intend to with, with, do with, that very quickly? With, with all due respect, uh, His Excellency, uh, Distinguished Senator Gabriel Susam, is on a frolic of his own because, look, we have the party zoned this position to the North Central. The North Central zoned this position to Benue. Benue zoned this position to Benue Northwest Senatorial District, where Yochi Ayu comes from. Suswam is from Benue Northeast Senatorial District. You know, so when you zone down, the question would be, did anybody come out from Igorov Council Ward where Yochi Ayu comes from? The answer is no. Anybody right. from Boko Local Government? The answer is no. Anybody from North, Benue Northwest Senatorial District? That is where I come in. You know, right. unless Benue Northwest does not have a candidate, that is when Suswam can play into the game. Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to be able to talk more, but it's still an ongoing conversation, and we hope to still have you here some other time. We must thank you so much, Tehile Conrad Utan, uh, PDP chieftain who is contesting uh, for the PDP national chairmanship position that may be made available during uh, a possible mini convention. And he says he's not too young to lead. <laughs> well, we must <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And that's how it's been for this thank edition you. of Arise Prime Time. Do join us again tomorrow. From me and the entire team here in Abuja, goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm Somna Sambo.